Right now, a nationwide campaign is underway with the goal of getting more low-income earners registered to vote. Also, Dane County's medical examiner has publicly identified the man shot and killed by a deputy Thursday night in Windsor. And a deputy in Mazomeni rescues a homeowner from an early morning house fire. That's all coming up at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Armand Rahman. Well, new tonight at 10, the man shot and killed by a Dane County Sheriff's deputy Thursday night has been officially identified as 46-year-old Quantez Campbell, the Dane County Medical Examiner making that identification this morning. It happened Thursday night outside a Super 8 motel in Windsor. Right now, a lot is still unknown about what happened prior to the shooting. News 3 Now spoke with Campbell's family last night who say they are looking for answers. His daughter tells us she wants the public to know what a great father he was. That was the biggest thing when it when it came to this. We just didn't want him to be portrayed as something that he wasn't. So we just want to paint a picture like just to let everybody know that he was a family man, a loving man. Court records show the 46-year-old had a warrant issued about three weeks ago for failure to appear in a pending felony criminal case. Filings show he's accused of helping steal several thousand dollars worth of copper coils from UW Hospital. The Department of Justice is investigating. And also new tonight, a Dane County deputy is recovering in the hospital after running into a burning Mazomeni home earlier this morning to rescue the homeowner. It was after 5 a.m. when the house on County Highway Y caught fire. When deputies arrived, they say the homeowner ran back inside to retrieve some items. One of them chased after him and was able to get him out. The house is considered a total loss. Both were taken to the hospital for an evaluation, but we have no update on how they're doing tonight. All right, let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with meteorologist Julian Seawright. Julian, it doesn't seem too chilly out there. No, not too bad as of right now, but it's, it's going to get still pretty chilly for us here in Madison and for the rest of southern Wisconsin as we continue throughout the rest of tonight. Let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be expecting for us. Well, by the time we get into the end of this weekend, folks, we are looking at a freeze watch in effect for Dane, Green, and Rock County in areas to the east and the far northeast that will start to see it go valid from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. overnight into Monday. Monday morning. So be expecting some temperatures to drop back into the freezing points once again and even below the freezing points by the time we get into the overnight Sunday transitioning into Monday morning. But right now we are looking at plenty of cloud cover still blanketing much of Madison, but that's going to be clearing out throughout the rest of tonight's temperatures will fall as well though. We're going to be into the upper 30s by the time we get into our Sunday morning as our low is going to be around 37 degrees here in Madison 39 for Stoughton in Dane County area. But as we take a look for the rest of uh, tomorrow, we're going to be seeing temperatures climb their way into the upper 40s, but it's going to struggle to get there. Cloud cover is going to stick around. It will be breezy, folks. We may see a shower, but we'll plan all this out for the rest of your weekend coming up in a few moments. Until then, back to you, Armand. Well, the Jim Leonard era got off to a good start last week for Wisconsin, but today a setback in East Lansing. Jordan Reed joins us now with highlights from the double overtime finish. After what the team accomplished in Jim Leonard's first game as interim head coach, beating the Wildcats in Evanston, the message to the Badgers was to go out there and do it again today. But this time, very different results against Michigan State. It's a team they haven't seen since 2019. The Badgers trailing by a touchdown with two minutes to go in this one. Graham Mertz finds Keontes Lewis on fourth down in the back of the end zone. Well, this game heads to, over to overtime. Badgers, or the Spartans score first. The Badgers answer right back. Wisconsin gets the ball to start second overtime. Braylon Allen on the move. Spartans force a fumble. Now in recovering the ball, they end up walking it off with a double OT touchdown. When we've needed to show up big, we haven't gotten it done. And we have to find ways as coaches to, to help them out. And, and players, when their numbers call, they have to execute. So I, I would say it's still up in the air on what the true identity of this team is. And, and that's why we haven't had the success um, that we all anticipated. Well, we've heard from Leonard. Now it's time to get the players take on what happened this afternoon. We're going to have that and more coming up in sports. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Well, the Wisconsin Poor People's Campaign joined a nationwide effort to encourage poor and low income people to vote in the 2022 midterms. Our Andrew Banster was there today in Beloit and has a story. Who is America?
Dozens joined the Wisconsin Poor People's Campaign in marching the streets of Beloit today in one of many demonstrations across the country Saturday. The group's goal is to encourage low-income people to vote. They say the nation needs policies and politicians that center around the needs of poor and low-wealth people. And we have 2.3 million uh, poor and low-income uh, people in Wisconsin. Uh, many of them are children, but many of them are voting individuals. We want all of them to vote because their voices matter. They matter. The group says 43% of American adults Adults live in poverty. They're pushing these low income people to the polls to vote for things like health care, better wages, and policies that bring them closer to the equilibrium. We know that if they do vote, if they come out and vote uh, with these issues in mind, that they can truly change Wisconsin for the better. The Poor People's Campaign of Wisconsin believes that when everybody can and does vote, then everybody's values are reflected in our democracy. They say, keep us divided. Always united. For so long, for so long, they have felt like they don't matter, like their voices don't matter, their vote doesn't matter, and so they don't vote. Affording everyone the right to vote and exercising that right is at the core of their message. 66,000 Wisconsinites on parole or probation weren't allowed to vote in the 2020 election. The biggest thing is to allow us to be unified, being able to come together and um, allow each of us to love each other, to be able to get along so everybody can have a fair quality of life to be able to live within the United States as well as in the state of Wisconsin. What do we want? Living wages. And when do we want it? Now. While the group doesn't endorse candidates or parties, they do say that if poor and low income people don't vote in their own best interests, who will? We know that the rights of Wisconsinites as a whole are on that ballot. In Beloit, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Now. And with the election creeping closer, marches just like this one took place today from Sacramento to Jackson, Mississippi to Boston. Their goal is to get 5 million people to the ballot boxes for the midterms. And also new tonight, bereaved parents and supporters were invited to come together to help raise awareness about pregnancy and infant loss at the second annual Empty Stroller Awareness Walk. It was held at the State Street Capitol steps and supporters walked around the Capitol. Attendees were encouraged to walk with an empty stroller as a powerful image of the emptiness families are left with after a baby dies. Strollers were available for free for those who needed one. Some parents also choose to put their baby's memorial bears, photos or other special items in their strollers as a way to honor their baby's memory. We carry empty strollers around and we hold their memories with us forever. They don't just go away once that child passes away. A candlelight vigil was held following the walk to honor all of the infants who were taken too soon. But one in four women will experience domestic violence at some point in their lifetime, according to a study released earlier this year. A Milwaukee brewery is naming one of its newest drinks to raise awareness of the crisis. Adam Reif explains. I think we all know four women. I think we all know nine men. So the reality is we all know someone. Matt Sizz's one in four was his wife's niece, Carissa Peranto. Carissa was killed last October in Ashwaubenon after trying to leave a violent relationship. She did everything she could. Um, she changed her locks. She put in security cameras, purchased a firearm, staying with family and friends. But the outcome was still tragic. It spurred Matt to take action. Third Space's one in four IPA is the brewery's latest offering in its Pints for a Purpose program. Matt says they intentionally went for shock value with the name. That is just like such a staggering statistic. Like it, it'll, it stops people in their tracks and gets them thinking. The brewery is partnering with Sojourner Family Peace Center. A rollout event was held Friday evening. The beer's great right out of the tap here at the Third Space Tap Room, but you don't have to be here to make a difference. One in four will be carried in dozens of stores all throughout the area, and all the proceeds from the beer will go straight to Sojourner. It happens behind closed doors, and people are afraid to say something. Naomi Gould wants people to feel safe coming forward. So far this year, there have been more than a dozen domestic homicides in the city of Milwaukee, and Gould says it impacts everyone. We know that violence is a learned behavior, and when children grow up in violent homes, most likely they grow up uh, being violent as well in their relationships. So Turner has an emergency hotline, a shelter for survivors, and provides healing services for survivors post-trauma. One survivor told Gould how educating children helped her. Her daughter actually in school learned about what a healthy relationship is, came home from school and said, Mom, I don't think you're in a healthy relationship. Third Space is encouraging people to donate on Sojourner's website. You can mention the one in four beer right there. 
Well, some more local news now. It was a beautiful afternoon to get out to Sun Prairie for the town's annual fall festival. It's the 16th year for the event put on by the Sun Prairie's Business Improvement District. The group teamed up with local businesses for special promotions for shoppers earlier today. Live music, craft vendors, and hot eats and treats were also to be enjoyed. While checking out some of Sun Prairie's very best businesses, the event is meant to offer fall-themed fun and entertainment in the downtown area for residents and visitors alike. Well, former President Trump still hasn't said whether he will answer questions from the January 6th committee. The committee voted Thursday to subpoena Trump, calling on him to testify and provide documents. The resolution is agreed to. Without the vote was the finale of the January 6th committee's televised hearing Thursday. The committee members unanimously agreed to subpoena former President Donald Trump. We are obligated to seek answers directly from the man who set this all in motion. On Friday, Trump responded with a blistering 14-page letter. He railed about his, quote, anger and disappointment with what he said, quote, many consider to be a charade and witch hunt. He repeated false claims of election fraud, but did not answer the key question, whether he will fight the subpoena or agree to testify about his actions on January 6th. They're breaking windows and going in. The committee shared new video taken on January 6th showing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer pleading for help to secure the Capitol and saying the president had instigated the rioters. Yeah, why don't you get the president to tell them to leave the Capitol, Mr. Attorney General, in your law enforcement responsibility? Pelosi and Schumer were also seen speaking to then-Vice President Mike Pence, working together to return to the Capitol to certify the presidential election results. Pence's aides have cooperated with the committee, but he hasn't been subpoenaed or asked to testify. The committee has until January 2023 to complete their work because they're only authorized through the current Congress. And former President Trump could try to delay until January to avoid testifying, but yesterday he did post an article on his Truth Social account that quoted anonymous sources who say he, quote, loves the idea of testifying. All right, still ahead at 10. You're likely to pay more this winter than in the past when it comes to your heating bill. Some DIY tips and tricks to help you save. Furniture and Appliance Mart's ultimate sale is going on now. Get 10% off LG appliance packages of three or more pieces, plus guaranteed delivery within five days on all in-stock appliances at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. My school does active shooter drills every few months. It's terrifying to think about. Tim Michaels wants to allow teenagers my age to buy AR-15s with no waiting period. It's a terrible idea. It's a really bad idea. And Michaels wants to allow people to bring loaded guns on our school grounds. And that's just not okay. I don't want guns in my school. We shouldn't be making things worse. Tim Michaels is just way too radical. He's way too divisive. Tim Michaels is wrong for Wisconsin. Some numbers are inspiring. Some playful. Some worth celebrating. After an accident, there's one critical number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are, no other personal injury law firm is better suited to get the amount that's right for you. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today, or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexBuy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% financing for 66 months. In a recent clinical study, patients using Salon Pass patch reported reductions in pain severity using less or a lot less oral pain medicines and improved quality of life. That's why we recommend Salon Pass. It's good medicine. He sent me to Join us at the Madison Fall Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Visit and get inspired for your 2023 building and remodeling projects. Go to madisonparadeofhomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Ashley's Ultimate Sale is going on now. Shop in store today and get ultimate discounts. Clearance items are up to 78% off. 
Plus, get a bonus 10% off our sale prices at checkout. Don't miss these ultimate savings. Only at Ashley. Once you start, you just can't stop. On UW Homecoming Week, Mark Kane introduces you to a Wisconsin alum with a unique collection that chronicles decades of Badger history. Right on the button. Monday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. With energy costs expected to increase this winter, it's more important than ever to maximize the efficiency of your heating and air quality systems. Well, the good news, that can start with an inexpensive DIY fix. Consumer Reports shows us how. Seasons changing not only affects the climate outside, but the climate in your home as well. That includes temperature and the quality of the air you breathe. You can pay a lot to have a professional take care of your systems when things go wrong, but why pay for one of the simplest fixes? Your furnace and central air, if you have it, work for months at a time, season after season. Don't wait until you have it serviced. You can install clean filters yourself. A dirty furnace or air conditioning filter can release particles into the air and can eventually damage your HVAC system. Look for filters in the units as well as in air returns in the ceiling. The size is printed right on the side, so you can buy the right one and pop it back in. Your heating system can remove moisture from your home's air, causing itchy eyes and dry skin. A good humidifier goes a long way to keeping you comfortable, but you need to clean it regularly in order to prevent bacteria from building up. Generally, CR says to drain, rinse, and towel dry the tank daily. Every week, deep clean the machine with vinegar and water, scrubbing the well in the base with a toothbrush and rinsing well. Place a cup each of water and vinegar in the tank and let it sit about 20 minutes. Rinse and towel dry. Check your owner's manual for how often to replace the filter or wick. Air purifiers are meant to filter the air in a single room, not the whole house. To test air purifiers, CR places them in a controlled chamber and injects smoke and dust particles into the room. The faster an air purifier can remove the particles, the better. But an air purifier can't work at its full capacity unless air is pulled through a clean filter. To be most effective, change this filter according to manufacturer's instructions, usually every 6 to 12 months. Knowing you're doing the right thing to keep the air in your house clean will help you breathe easier. This is Luz Montez. All right, let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with Julian C. Wright. Well, starting things off for us, we got to talk about what's going to happen for the rest of the weekend. Well, we are on a freeze watch for many of us here in southern Wisconsin. It's going to be from Dane County, Green, and Rock County in areas to the east and the northeast. That will be going into effect from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. going into our Monday. Outside of that, folks, we're going to be looking at this low pressure system, which is moving across the upper Midwest, which is going to start to create a bit of some instability for us over the next couple of days, which is going to prompt potential of us starting to see some showers around the area but overall, we're still not looking at too much moisture in terms of widespread showers going into our Sunday. But with that cold front rolling its way in, we are going to be once again looking at not just the dew points that are going to be much of a factor for us, but we are going to be seeing overnight temperatures dropping into the upper 30s for us here in Madison as we look at not quite as cold temperatures as we did last night, but still going to be rather chilly. Now we're seeing 37 degrees in Janesville and for Platteville as well, but our friends to the far north are going to still hold into around the mid 30s for us overnight. So it's not going to be nearly as cold as last night. We were into the freezing range, but for tonight, it's going to be a bit of improvement. Now, as we head into Sunday, we're also going to not see too much improvement starting off for the day. We're going to be in the upper 30s by the time it's around 7 o'clock in the morning. Heading into the lunchtime hour, we're still seeing a couple of pocket showers to be very isolated. Many of us don't have to worry about much in terms of rainfall for us, but the windy conditions are going to be rather breezy throughout the course of our Sunday afternoon. Start to see some developments of showers. Now, looking at much in terms of flurries for us here in southern Wisconsin, just because we still have a bit of warmer air aloft, but just not enough for us to start to see any transition from rain going into snow just yet. As we go into our Sunday nights, the cloud cover is going to start to clear up, and that's going to be the catalyst for us to see those temperatures really drop into freezing range. As we see those winds coming in from the northwest, really pummeling in some colder air coming in from Canada, we're going to be looking at temperatures into the low 30s around Madison, even the upper 20s by the time we transition into our Monday morning. So as you're heading out the door, make sure that you are bundling up. We're talking hats, gloves, and really a coat. And areas to the north around lunchtime could start to see a couple of showers that may even 
even be onto the snow side. Some flurries could be mixed in with some showers. It's beginning to on Monday afternoon, but again, folks, one of our biggest things we're going to be talking about is not just the overnight chill, but the winds that are really going to pick up by the time we get into our Monday morning, Monday afternoon, and especially heading into our Monday night, which is going to be pushing in even more colder air, which is going to stick around from Monday, Tuesday, even into our Wednesday, and we'll start to see some changes heading into our Thursday. So our three things we'll need to know, watch for a couple of showers. It's going to be very isolated, could see some flurries mixed in, but the chill and the wind is really going to be the biggest headline for us over the next couple of days. As we take a look at what we're seeing, we're really get looking at our daytime temperatures. Again, around this time of year, our high is usually around the 60s for us to be in the season. And overnight, our lows are typically in the 40s. Well, for the next stretch of few days, we're going to be seeing highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s, and we'll see improvement until we get to Thursday and Friday of next week. Good news is, as of right now, next weekend looks like a great improvement for us. Just got to get through possible snow, right? <laughs> Just some possible flurries, some chills overnight. Once we get through it, though, next weekend's looking really nice. There we go. Keep your head up, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Julian. Well, coming up in sports, our Badger football coverage continues. We will hear from the players another tough loss next. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When a clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. Yeah. And that's why they all start dancing. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Culver's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers. They're topped with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to delicious. Nice. <laughs> I'm Sheriff Jim Johnson. I'm Sheriff Eric Severson. We've got the real story on Mandela Barnes. Barnes wants to defund our police, but he spent over 600 grand of your money on police protection for himself. Barnes wants to eliminate bail for violent felons, and his administration has already released over 800 criminals, including 44 child rapists. Take it from us. Mandela Barnes policies are a threat to your family. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Qualified lessees can use $1,000 engine lease cash to get this Silverado for around $449 a month. Or get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. When pain says, I'm here, I say, so are they. Aleve, who do you take it for? Read my eyes. They tell my story. And the story of Voluminous Original, America's number one mascara. Creamy formula for five times the volume. Voluminous Original Mascara by L'Oreal. My eyes are saying you're worth it. When a clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. Yeah. And that's why they all start dancing. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point.
second game in the Jim Leonard era ends with a punch in the gut. Michigan State capitalizes on Braylon Allen's first fumble of the season, scoring the go-ahead tutty and double overtime. Now here's that OT breakdown. The Badgers opt to defend first, and the Spartans drop quite the play to strike first a trick play that has wide receiver Jaden Reed connect with Keon Coleman for the overtime lead. Now it's Wisconsin's turn to answer, and they do. Graham Mertz hits Chimere DK for 25 yards, and it's tied once again. Well, the Badgers with the ball now. Mertz is going to hand it off to Allen. It gets stripped away. Recovered by Michigan State, which turns into the game-winning touchdown. Wisconsin falls 34-28, to is 3-4 and four on the season, and sitting in last place in the Big Ten West standings. Zach Hanley was out in East Lansing today and has more from the players on this tough loss. Consistently inconsistent. That is Wisconsin football right now. Penalties, turnovers, missed tackles, mental mistakes, you name it, the Badgers did it. And it cost them another winnable game. It's concerning if, if you don't do anything about it. Um, I mean, I know every guy in that locker room, and I know every coach in that locker room, every um, athletic trainer, and every, every person on the staff. Um, that's that's inconsistent. Inconsistent is not our standard here. We need to hit our groove. You know, this is a tough one. You know, so sloppy on both ends. You would love to pull this out, kind of bring everyone together, type victory, which is hard. But uh, we'll find our identity. I mean, obviously, you know, you come on expect to win every single game, so it's not exactly the position you're in, but it it's the one that we, you know, it's our reality. So, um, you know, we can either dwell on it or we can, you know, face it. I think it's uh, easy to give up right now, and, um, but. Just knowing the talent in the room and the work ethic, the personality in the in the locker room, I know I know we have a bunch of guys who are trying to get right and we'll get right. Asked after the game if this team is better than the record, Graham Mertz said 1,000 percent, but added, "We have to put it together, and we haven't yet." At Spartan Stadium, Zach Hanley, News 3 Sports. Six straight wins for Wisconsin women's hockey, and these aren't just any wins. The Badgers are blowing out opponents while also shutting a few of them out. Case in point, game one with St. Cloud State. The Badgers lit the lamp five times last night while keeping the Huskies off the board this afternoon, looking to close the door on the series. But SCSU gets the early jump. They're leading 2-0. Oh, well, Britta Curl gets some help from Caroline Harvey to cut into that lead. Now third period, one minute to go. Casey O'Brien knots it up at two and sends this game to over. Overtime, where it's Harvey who delivers the game winner and the Badgers sweep the Huskies. And back here in Madison, the men's team still looking for its first win of the season. Back for game two at St. Cloud State. Scoreless late in the second period when the Huskies bury the first goal of the game. Well, Bucky's going to battle back in that final period. Corson cools him in, evens it up with his first goal of the season. St. Cloud State takes advantage of a power play to net the go-ahead, and UW falls 2-1. to one. Jerry Kelly coming off an impressive round one at the SASH Championship, hoping to do the same this afternoon. Going for a birdie in the co-lead on 12, and he sinks it. Puts together a four-birdie performance to move up a spot on the leaderboard. Madison Native is currently tied for a third and one shot off the lead, heading into the final round. There we go, the there. SAS Championship. You know, the SAS Championship, yes. I didn't fully believe that it was a SAS Championship. I was digging around to make sure that we were pronouncing it correctly. And it is a SAS Championship. There we go. There we go. I can't imagine a sassier sport, so. <laughs> <laughs> I like I can get you again. It's I know, I know. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I love it. Perfect. All right, Got thanks, Jordan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, a final check of your first sworn forecast is coming up when we return. Senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. The Internet of Things is evolving, creating the Internet of You. 
And Spectrum, America's leading internet and mobile provider, is bringing you seamless connectivity across all your devices. Introducing Spectrum One. Spectrum Internet with speeds of 300 megabits, advanced Wi-Fi, and Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, all for just $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers speeds up to a gig with over 99.9% .9 network reliability. Advanced Wi-Fi provides enhanced security and privacy that automatically blocks threats to protect all of your devices. And Spectrum Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G and the most reliable service coast to coast. Switch now. Call 833-673-4999. At Spectrum, it's not just about connecting things. It's about connecting you. Get it all with Spectrum One, Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Join us at the Madison Fall Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by by nuns. Visit and get inspired for your 2023 building and remodeling projects. Go to madisonparadeofhomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Keep bragging about your buck after the hunt with wild game processing from Johnson Sausage Shop in Ryle, Wisconsin. Friends enjoy a hunting story more over a jalapeno cheddar stick. Johnson Sausage Shop accepts wild game seven days a week. First bucks in are the first brats out. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today, or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexBuy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% financing for 66 months. Cheers. Cheers. To your big promotion. Yes. And to your new house. I know. What? I guess you had to move fast in this market. Right? Best thing I did was get a pre-approval from Summit. Once I knew my budget, I only looked at homes I could make a serious offer on. And how's construction going on your place? One month left. Must be stressful. Actually, no. I'm working with Summit, too, and they've been great about answering all my questions and guiding me along. It's been easy. Whether you're building or buying a home, Summit Credit Union is here to help. Reality Check, Wednesdays on News 3 Now at 6. All right. It's National Cheese Curse Day. <laughs> hey! Okay. Okay. Our producer, Aaron, was reluctant about it, but folks, it is National Cheese Curd Day. We're not necessarily going to eat this. Oh, let's put it in the camera shot. Right Ooh, now. and this is from Brennan's. That's right. It's fresh out the refrigerator. I'm not going to have any, but I'm good. I've had a good dinner, but you either way, we're still... Of I'm used to my many fried. of us I'm have... Fried, yes. I think we've most, like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a transplant. I'm not originally from the Midwest, so right. I've always had fried cheese curds. I've never had them not fried. Right. Uh, I guess in their natural state, never had that. Their their natural state. Yeah, but uh, they do squeak. <laughs> They do squeak. Salute to Armand. Let's take a look at our final 10 days of weather. Well, folks, it is going to be a chilly one for the next few days for us. And then overnight, temperatures will be in the freezing side. The next weekend, improvements are on the way, guys. There we go. Get yourself some cheese curds. We'll see you then tomorrow night.